Hey everybody, Kelly Engineering here, and welcome. Whoa, whoa, you are... Okay, I was not expecting him to be that quick, but uh, what I was trying to do is I was trying to get a chicken with the stick. Uh, yeah, a chicken stick. And I was not expecting the angry chicken to be that quick. He hasn't been in the past. Uh, anyway, alright, that's death number one for this episode. Son of a gun, and I had like everything over there. So, yeah. <laughs> In any case, I got my uh, I got my stuff back, and this is actually the first time I've died a total of four times so far in the series. This is the first time that uh, this has happened. A yeah, little zombie me appears. <laughs> we'll leave him alone. We'll let him do his thing. And uh, wait, was he not burning up in the? Does he have full health? Huh. And uh, these zombies don't burn up in the sun apparently. In any case, while I was on that small island, I uh, killed a couple cows, and uh, I'm. Pfft, grilling up that steak right now, but something, I do not know what it was, something dropped this page with skill. It was a skeleton. I killed a skeleton on the way there. And uh, this page with skill gives me sharp arrow. There we go. New skill unlocked. So all I have to do is go here, go to my abilities. Apparently not. Here we go. Here's a new one. Sharp arrow. So increase range damage dealt to any entity. So if I get a bow, then uh, my arrows will do more damage, which is amazing. So I have that skill. I'm very happy with that. And I also have an ability total with mining fatigue. I don't care. I <laughs> I kind of wish that I was recording what just happened, but uh, a Riftwalker managed to get to the top of the platform. And uh, yeah, he was dragging me around, but he couldn't take me anywhere, luckily. But uh, he eventually gave up when I got to about 11 hearts. And... Uh, yeah, it was very, uh, it was very weird, because, uh, yeah, he couldn't grab me, thankfully. He, uh, got one of my torches, though. Put that back down. And I'm a little wary of that now. Maybe my, uh, maybe my sky base isn't, uh, as safe as I thought. We are in the middle of one of the, uh, big rift nights, so, uh, it's a bunch of actual, like, um, player-skinned zombies. Yeah, there's one right there. There's just a bunch of player-skinned zombies down there, so I'm not going to touch them. Alright, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this episode, I really need this chicken on a stick, so uh, I actually dug a hole this time and just pushed the chickens in there. Oh no, I can't reach them. Shoot. Um. Hopefully this works. Don't jump. Yes! Alright, this is excellent. And the, But the sun's starting to go down, so I need to hurry this up. Come on, dude. Yes! And I also got the added benefit of having some feathers, which I need for another quest. So let's hurry back to the base. And I'll see you when I get there. So before I went and got the uh, chicken stick, and uh, where there's the seeds, the feathers, uh, I went out and got a bunch of gravel, which is why in the last shot my uh, iron shovel was so was so was in terrible condition. So I just repaired that, and now I have some gravel. With uh, the I had two and a half stacks of gravel. I turned most of that into flint, and then made some flint meshes. I'm gonna pour the rest of it in here, and uh, this is actually most of what I'm gonna be doing in between shots. Oh no, did you see how much just flew away? Ugh. So I got coal, an aluminum, iron piece. I'm not, uh... Oh, uh, this is going to take a while. Well, that's why I got the chicken stick. So I'm going to make a cobblestone generator, a fireproof, or uh, something far away from these oak slabs, so I can actually make a... There we go. So I can actually make a cobblestone generator. And with that cobblestone, I'm going to use the chicken stick to break it down to gravel. And I'm just going to keep sieving some gravel. Uh, once, I have a, once I have a healthy amount, I'll come back to you. Oh, one last thing. Uh, I think that chicken dropped this uncommon loot bag. And I wasn't even aware that uh, loot bags were in this pack. So I'm also going to review what loot bags can give me. Oh, it doesn't look like they've been configured. 
Yeah, Sirtis Quartz Dust. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've been really configured all that much. Shoot. So here's my basic cobblestone generator. It's, uh, it's the one that you'll find in any vanilla sky block. But uh, the difference is I'm using the chicken stick right now just to break the cobblestone. And of course, because this is the basic one, it is there, there is quite a bit of loss. But I'm using the chicken stick to uh, just hit it, get the gravel out of it, be perfectly fine with that. I already got 34 gravel. I've just been sitting here. Uh, in the back, yeah, in the back here, I have a piece of compressed cobblestone because uh, the chicken stick cannot actually break. Whoop! Here we go. It can't hit compressed cobblestone and turn it into compressed gravel, unfortunately. So yeah, you just use a regular pickaxe. You can break it no problem. Since I'm using the uh, chicken stick, I can actually just hit my macro right now, have this thing running for a while, and not have to worry about breaking anything. And we'll see how much gravel we get out of it. Honestly, not a bad haul. I uh, ended up with about mm, a little more than 800 pieces of gravel, and I didn't bother compressing it or making a uh, an improved sieve. So. Yeah, I just went the uh, I just went the normal route, but I have more than enough flint, some lapis, coal, iron, which is what I really wanted, uh, gold, which normally gold isn't in the flint mesh, so that's a, that was a pleasant surprise. Aluminum, silver, nickel, tin, copper, and lead. And with that, I believe we can complete a quest. So, oh, I never completed the chicken stick, and that gives me gravel, sand, and dust, as well as. A chance cube, ooh, 10 solidified experience, which I'm definitely looking forward to to upgrade my skills, and a loot chest. So let's claim that. And then we have flint stones, which is going to give me gravel, sand, dust, a chance cube, and jambalaya, and always happy to have a new food. Um, I completely neglected to rem Oh, my inventory's full. I completely neglected to remember that, uh... <laughs> While I was AFK, mining all of that stuff, my uh, my hunger went down quite a bit, so I'm going to try to regain that right now. There we go. So, uh, with that, open up this loot chest, and we'll continue on our merry way. Nether Quartz, Prismarine, Prismarine, and Nether Wart. And now that we have a clear inventory, oh, definitely don't want to put that away. Let's move on to the next part. I also forgot that uh, I completed this quest as well. Uh, well, I have the materials necessary to complete this quest. I need a paper, ink sack, and a feather. I got the ink sack from uh, one of the quests in the Tinker side, but I finally got the feathers and I had paper from a while ago. So I'm going to complete this quest. Get this alchemist skill. I do not know what the alchemist skill does. Claim it. Oh, and I also got 14 levels of experience, so booyah. So, I just learned that skill. I have the 14 levels of experience, and what does it do for me? Boost the speed of the brewing stand. Very good for those who do a lot of alchemy. Alright, well, whatever. is better than luck of the sea. I don't fish very often. But with those 14 levels, I, uh, I'm going to upgrade mining to level 9. Attack speed's already at 10, and attack damage to level 4. And with that, uh, I actually have cutting, digging, and mining at level 9. Very happy with that. I've also uh, thrown my iron into the smeltery, and I'm going to get my iron that way. Alright, for the rest of this episode, I'm going to be moving back to Tinkers. So, I have just completed making the toolhead patterns. I was missing the broadaxe, excavator, and hammerhead. And I also just completed the armor patterns. The armor pattern is actually going to be two blocks of aluminum brass, which is excellent in order to make the casts and if you look at the next quest it's actually cast anyway uh, two heart containers a block of iron and a loot chest I'm going to claim those uh, use those hearts immediately increase my maximum health to 32 and this block of iron and aluminum brass are going to go in my ingot box and let's see what we get in these loot chests sticky piston if I recall correctly, the piston... I needed a piston for something earlier that I wanted to make, but I couldn't. But the recipe has changed to require thermal foundation and immersive engineering stuff, so... What did I need the piston for earlier? Now, regardless, whatever it was, I'm sure it'll come back to me. But... 
Open up the second. Oh my word, I just got two pistons. Oh, this is a very happy day. i throw these in here for later. And uh, figure out what I need to use those for. But in the meantime, I have been making a bunch of ingots. And now let's make these casts. So after another session at the uh, cobblestone generator, I made enough gravel to make one full stack of compressed gravel. And I I'm going through it right here in a heavy oak sieve. I, uh, I made an iron stiffened mesh, just one iron stiffened mesh. To put in the heavy oak sieve, and I'm hoping to get a uh, a diamond out of it. I've already gotten an emerald, and that's actually going to serve me well because I need to make a gem cast. But uh, yeah, I'm just here getting more compressed gravel going, and uh, hopefully I can make enough iron to make the tool bench and the armor bench, and that's going to be my next thing that I'm trying to do, or one of them at least. Alright, next thing I'm making on my quest to get all of the standard casts is an engineer's hammer. The reason why I want to make the engineer's hammer is actually, I think there's a quest related to that. Yeah, Industrial Revolution, the very first quest in the uh, immersive engineering. So I need that and hemp seeds, but it's complete. I guess a premium coal, really? Uh, in any case, so now that I have the engineer's hammer, place down an iron ingot with it, I get an iron plate. So I already have the ingot cast, and now I have everything required in order to make all of the other casts. So I'm just going to put this aluminum brass in here and wait for it to smelt up so I can make all of that stuff. One thing I just became aware of, so I made a stone gear, and if you look in the, uh, if you look in the quest, wherever Tinkers happens to be, it specifically says only the gear cast needs at least an iron gear as a base to form a precise enough cast for future uses. That's not necessarily true. You can actually uh, use a stone gear, as I chose to have, uh, in order to make that. If you don't want to waste the iron at this early in the game. However, the stone gear, I wish I could turn off those stupid crows. But the stone gear can actually be turned into a cast. The only problem is you actually need gold. You cannot use aluminum brass. So I just threw two gold ingots in there. And I'm going to put in the stone gear. And there we go. You can make a cast. So now that I have that cast, all I have to do is make the iron plate. And there we go. I have all four of the casts. Metal cast patterns. And with that, I get a chance cube and aluminum brass ingot. That's all fine, but the next thing I want to do is make the tool forge and armor forge, so I can actually uh, get some decent armor. So I have need six blocks of iron in order to do that, and then wherever my... Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I just grabbed my uh, armor station and my tool station. Go over to a crafting station, put the tool station, da da da. This is all a, this is a standard recipe, it shouldn't be... Are you kidding me right now? I'm really hoping that the uh, recipe did not change. It didn't change, I just had it backwards. I uh, actually need eight blocks of iron and six seared whatever. So, um, do I have the iron for that? I do not, I need one more block of iron. So this is a new session, and uh, I apologize. I'm supposed to have an episode out by uh, Friday. Realized I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Said I was going to release it Saturday. Realized I couldn't do that, and now it has to be uh, Sunday. But uh, yeah, work just... Work came up despite the fact that I'm on vacation. So <laughs> uh, I, as of Friday, I'm on, I'm on vacation. So I, I w thought I would be able to get the episode out by Saturday. Uh, so I apologize for that, but work is what it is. I have my last block of iron that I need. Here we go. Wrong one. Seared brick, armor station, and the blocks of iron to make the armor forge. With that, the quest should complete. Awesome. I can finally make some, uh, decent armor. Also, the quest for it, um... 
Oh yeah, I get like all I get all my iron back pretty much and a bunch of blocks of gold, diamonds, emerald. What to choose? Ooh, let's get the traveler's knapsack, a traveler's belt, and traveler's goggles for night vision. Nice. Um that's a really tough choice for me. I think I'm going to recoup my iron because I do not have nearly enough of it. And honestly, if I had to critique this pack for any reason, it would be the fact that uh, I'm on a time crunch with these rifts. Like uh, the rifts show up every five days. And so I'm on a time crunch for there, but I am stuck using the X Nilo grind in order to get my stuff. And I'm just... I'm playing catch up with myself constantly. There has to be a better way. And there's no cobblestone generator in this pack. Yeah, there's no cobblestone generator at all. And yeah, it's just that there's it, there's too much of a grind for the story based time crunch. So yeah, if I had to critique the pack, that'd be my main critique. Uh, now that I have that, let's open up this loot chest. Rails, great. I don't need any of that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this uh, knapsack can do. I believe I can attach it to myself. Traveler's belt. Leggings accessory. And then traveler's goggles. Huh. I'm not sure what mod those belong to. Constructs Armory. Okay, so all of this stuff, whenever I make my, uh... Whenever I make my Tinker's Armor, I can attach it to my armor. So that's good. Let's get making some armor. Alright, finally we can start making the armor. So I'm going to make my armor, the, uh, the cores at least, out of iron. And I'm going to make the trim and plates out of lead. I mean, because I like the, uh, defense that that's going to afford me. Uh, as you see, I've already gone and made the casts for each of them. But we're gonna lay down the helmet. Yeah, we're making it. I'm gonna go grab the book and just go over the compare and contrasts. Where are you? Akashic Tome. Materials and U Armory. So if you look at iron, you'll see that the uh, the core and defense are going to be lower than uh, they're gonna be lower than lead. So the durability 35 and defense 22, as opposed to it's durability 40 and defense 25, but the plates are going to give me one more modifier than the iron. Uh, the iron modifier is 2, the durability is 17, and the toughness is 2. So I uh, think I'm going to gain more from having the plates be lead and the core be iron, mainly because I don't have enough lead, but I have plenty of iron thanks to uh, completing that quest earlier where I got uh, 12 blocks, 10 blocks, however many it was. So... Yeah, that's why I'm going to be making iron cores and lead plates and trim. Alright, here we go. I have my iron helmet, my iron chest piece, my iron leggings, here we go, and the iron boots. Awesome. Uh, before we equip those, though, we have this uh, knapsack. So, the chest plate accessory for knapsack. The helmet accessory for night vision and the leggings accessory for storage. And there, let's uh, let's attach these to myself. Oh wow, yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see. <laughs> the goggles are absolutely ridiculous looking, though. Uh, so how do I access the storage aspect of this? After completing all of the uh, armor casts, I uh, got two blocks of iron, a loot chest, four resistance uh, modifiers, and four blocks of redstone. And uh, honestly, I am unsure what to do with these uh, resistance. Do I want to apply them to my armor? Um, oh, you access any of the modifiers on your armor by uh, hitting either by default X, and you see that this is uh, changing my belt right now. If you look down at my hotbar, I'm swapping out my hotbar. Uh, C is for the chest plate, and that's where I access my extra storage. And then V is for... I don't want to press that right now because uh, night vision takes up my durability. So I had it on for, I don't know, like three seconds, and it took five durability away. So 
But that is what V is for. V activates your iron modifier, or your helmet modifier, rather. But, yeah, I don't know what to do with these resistance modifiers. Do I want to put them on my helmet so I can increase how long night vision is on? Uh, so I'm going to weigh my options for that. But I turned those four blocks of redstone into regular redstone so I could complete another quest. Open up my quest book. And uh, down here, embedding gems. So I got lapis, diamond, and emeralds from sieving, and the redstone from the quest. So I can get five blocks of redstone and ten lapis blocks. Which, oh yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, let's open up these two loot chests, see what we get. Oh, goody. And then, super lubricant platform? Super lubricant ice? Is that supposed to be lubricant? Hmm. Conveyor belt and extracting conveyor belt. Alright, so I'm sure once I get into immersive, those will be good for me, but for now, I have no I really have no need for them. But with that, I'm actually gonna close out this episode. I made the armor I wanted to make. And uh honestly, considering how delayed I got releasing this episode anyway. I, I really just want to get it edited and get it out for your viewing pleasure. Um, but I am Kelly Engineering. In the next episode, what we're going to do is... Um, man, I don't even know. Probably get into immersive. Where are we at right now? Oh, no. Agriculture. We are going to get into food. Because if you look in my lunchbox, I don't have very much stuff left. And... Yeah, I've eaten all of it in the past 24 food. I need to, I need to get food uh, situated. So I'm going to get into cooking for blockheads, and I'm going to make the market block. So food is in the next episode. And I am Kelly Engineering, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.